This thing is a money maker. Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 23. This week we're going to talk about apps that we use in the classroom every single day. So it's pretty cool because there's apps for everything that we're learning in class. So like Cardio Palm, Ortho, and as they say, there's an app for that. We live in a new world now where it's not about books and kind of flipping through pages. We're all very tech savvy. And so what's really, really cool is that our very own professors at APU develop these apps. Their company is called PhysioU. But one of the apps that I really love is the CPR app, Clinical Pattern Recognition. They have apps that cover the whole entire body. That includes head, neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, lumbar, hip, knee, and foot and ankle. So why is it that these apps are so amazing and that I use these apps every single day to enhance my student learning? Let's take a look. So let's look at lumbar for example. As you can see here, they have clinical pattern recognition. They have all these clinical practice guidelines. There's quick accesses to like physical exams, special tests, manual therapy, anything like that. So let's go to clinical pattern recognition. So as you can see here, there are different types of pain patterns that basically show when someone comes into your clinic. So let's look at this one. So as you can see here, there are two very localized spots in the back. And the hypotheses can show maybe this is a lumbar muscle strain, maybe like lumbar instabilities, maybe you have DJD, facet syndrome, or SIJ sprain. So then you go, okay, lumbar strain. So let's look. So let's look at clinical findings. Basically, that means like when someone comes into your clinic with these types of kind of patterns, it might be more likely that they have a lumbar muscle strain. So things like they have they had numerous episodes of lower back pain in recent years. Uh, they have a history of onset of this episode related to a recent unaccustomed repetitive bending or lifting activities like shoveling or picking up something. So it also shows exam findings. So it's really cool because as a physical therapist, when someone comes into your clinic, these are the types of things that someone might present with. So you have movement coordination impairments of the lumbopelvic region with low back flexion and extension movements. Uh, basically that they just move wrong from the uh, lower back. <laughs> and then it also shows like, well, pain is usually improved with neutral spine postures and gentle abdominal bracing to improve trunk control. What that means is that if you keep your stomach tight, so like you brace your stomach, your core, and then you keep a straight back instead of bending from the back to pick something up, typically the pain goes down. So it's cool because if we go back here, we have the physical exam. So when somebody comes into the clinic, these are the types of things that you want to find. So you have key findings, uh, things like your lumbar assessment or the clinical prediction rule for stabilization. Uh, you have your clinical reasoning and you could see the video of what shows in the clinic. Common lumbar sprains and strains that make up the 70% of patients with low back pain. This is likely related to faulty static postures. In this case, the patient sits excessively flexed or poor movement coordination during function in which this patient excessively flexes at the lumbar spine without using her hips. They habitually move in ways that micro stress tissues in the spine. Thus, the examination for key findings should always begin with an analysis of posture and movement. Observe for the patient's preferred static postures of the spine that are non-neutral. Does the patient prefer postures and movements that are excessively flexed as this person stands with a flexed lumbar spine, an excessively flexed sitting posture, and even bending excessively at the lumbar spine without utilizing the hip and knee strategies. And then you have your intervention. So if someone with a lower back strain comes into your clinic, what do you do as a physical therapist? Here we go, so we have manual therapy, so we can go pain limited lumbar management. And then we, if we see here, we have lumbar sawing rotation with neutral grade one or two. And then when you press play, it shows a video of every single technique that physical therapists use. Now, how do we know that these things are valid? Every single video that you see has references at the bottom. Every single thing, every single clinical reasoning that happens in these apps has references at the bottom. And that's just for lumbar muscle strain. Okay, so let's go back here. So we had all these pain stuff, right? So now let's go to all low back. Oh my goodness, look at all these hypotheses. Now you have disc stuff, you have lumbar instabilities, you have sciatica, 
uh, spinal stenosis. I mean, and it has all those categories in there. This thing is a money maker. This app is the future for all higher education for all physical therapy students. And my professors created this. All right, so these are just a snippet of all the types of apps that PhysioU comes out with to enhance student learning. We are well into the future where books are a thing in the past. I mean, of course they're great once in a while, but if everything can be so convenient to be in one little thing here, then why not? These apps are convenient, they're backed with research, and the producers of all these apps continue to update these, uh, these skills and everything with the new research that comes in. So of course, research in, in the physical therapy world or anything in the fitness world, or like science in general, just changes all the time. 10 years from now, things are gonna be different. But we always used to look at recent articles that come out and we have to read and update ourselves. This app is gonna to continue to update itself. Hey guys, this is Mike from Marshall with PhysioU and we are sitting here after class thinking about all the new updates that are coming out for the clinical practice guidelines. The new neck pain, the new hip mobility, both revised for this year. Um, we're gonna update them, find any of the missing stuff that we don't have in the apps, so we can update the app and get it to you guys in real time. All right, that's it, PhysioU. Check them out in the link below. Have a great one, you guys.